focusing on you. From your team of experts at Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center, South Florida's only National Cancer Institute designated cancer center. We're going to be working with the urology team, colorectal team, with a surgical oncologist. For patients with complex cancer cases that spread in the abdominal or chest cavity, Sylvester is a leader in a procedure that combines surgery and heated chemotherapy. The HIPEC is a procedure that includes, in addition to removing all the cancer that we find for tumors that do metastasis inside the abdomen, is to instill or perfuse hot chemotherapy into the abdominal cavity. At Sylvester, Dr. Mecker Moeller heads the HIPEC program, which stands for hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. This is not done in every hospital. This has to be in centers when you have the surgeons are training to do these procedures, when you have the level of complexity of these cases. What kinds of tumors or cancers are you treating with the HIPEC procedure? The appendix, they can come from the colon, they can come from the stomach, from the ovaries, or also a specific disease called mesothelioma. First, the team of surgeons works to remove all visible tumors. Then Dr. Moeller infuses heated chemo through catheters connected to a perfusion machine and placed inside the abdominal cavity. And the HIPEC will take care of the tumors that are microscopic that we cannot see. It all takes place in the operating room. Dr. Mahler says this two-pronged treatment approach could help extend the lives of some patients. We are not only treating patients, but we are training surgical oncologists that has gone to other institutions to develop their own HIPEC programs. We have residents and fellows working with us, learning this procedure. Because Sylvester is an academic cancer center, Dr. Muller and her team are also focused on pushing the mission forward. If we are able to be successful in removing all the tumors and doing the high pick, that we can at least for the next two years increase the chances by 50% of these patients having to be disease free.